This week, we're going to talk about the benefits of looking at an overpriced home. I'm Derek Webb. And I'm Mary Sue Wolf. And of course, we are Wolf and, and Webb, the, the key, key to your next, next move. All right, so interesting discussion this week. Three benefits of looking at an overpriced home. So what is an overpriced home? Very simple. Day one, they started on the market, they were overpriced. However, they may not realize it day one. And that's kind of the, you have to understand. There's a waiting concern. game involved. The, the seller has to be aware or quickly learn that there something's wrong. They're not getting the showings they expect. So on average, we say they probably don't know it until seven, seven maybe to 10. 14 days in at, at most. Something's up. Yeah, at that point, they had maybe a few showings in the beginning, maybe not very many, and now there's maybe no activity. What you have to realize is there's a conversation going on between them and their agent. They're saying, hey, what's up? What's going on? And maybe, just maybe, their agent told them from the beginning their price was too high. That's the key before that reduction that's coming. Benefit number one is you might get the price you're looking for. They are currently marketing here, but that price is gonna come down and sell to someone. Why not you, right? Right. Number two, terms, very important. When you are the only one making an offer, chances are you're gonna to get to be in control of the terms that the offer is accepted with. Price, we discussed that. Two, things that people start throwing out with terms are in house inspections or house to sell contingencies. There's an entire list. But the key thing is, again, the timing, that you get it, your offer in before it reduces in the general public market. That's right. You might be able to get that house to sell contingency. Some buyers, when they go to the bank, either they're not comfortable owning two homes at once for a very small period, which I could totally understand, or they might not even be able to own two homes at once for a very short period. So they need to put in their offer, a house to sell contingency. If there are other offers being considered and they don't have a house to sell contingency, I think you're gonna be picked over. The key is timing. Watch how long it's on the market and get your offer in before it's reduced to the general public. Right. So we would love to help you understand a little more about terms and what that could be and how to make your offer the one that's a standout rock star. Yeah, now I, I would say it depends on the house and it depends on your situation. And our job is to educate hear, hear both of those out and come up with the plan that works for you. Perfect. So give us a call, right? We'll walk you through <laughs> it, we promise. Once again, I'm Derek Webb. And I'm Mary Sue Wolf. And together we are Wolf, Wolf and Webb, the key to your next move. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.